One thing that language and culture have in common is that they're both really difficult to simply explain. I mean that to a certain extent you have to feel the meaning behind words, phrases, expressions, and obviously behind culture. I can explain it to you, but simply hearing the explanation doesn't mean that you feel it, and feeling it is such a part of understanding it. So one of the best ways to sort of feel a language and culture is to read books, which can be difficult. I recommend instead listening to audiobooks because you sort of feel the meaning more. Watching TV, watching movies from that country, uh, listening to podcasts from people from that area. And as you're listening, you have to listen actively. You have to kind of make an effort to create meaning from expressions. If you're working on English, one thing I recommend is there's a website called playphrase.me. I'm not associated with them at all. In fact, I'm paying for a subscription because I use it in teaching. In playphrase.me, you can type in an expression or even a word or a grammar construct like I have never, and then it will go through TV series and movies that use that exact order of words. So I have never been there. I've never seen him before. And it will just show you a really short clip, but in a way it helps you to understand the feeling behind that word or expression. All right, good luck. All day. I don't know what the heck is going on. Wait a minute, what the heck is going on here? What the heck was he doing there? What the heck you think he is, Superman? What the heck?